Hi friends, my name is host Eric. I'd like to make a video today in which I read a comment that Oliver Lyonhan left six months ago, but I just saw it right now. Anyway, it's extremely relevant to what we've been talking about lately, about people's type and identity and how much it challenges their self-concept when you challenge their type. Look, let's take a look. It's more than just a backward relationship with labels, though that is a problem in much of modern psychology, as you say, and it rubs off on people like Club, Melissa, and others. The reality is that most people don't believe they are talented, genius, athletic, creative, artistic, and special all at once. I would bet most people don't think they are particularly special in any of those areas. But for censors in particular, self-concept is largely going to be based on experience and how those experiences tie into self-narratives. These people are going to type themselves according to how they label their experiences. And due to various factors, people across the border see themselves as somewhat alienated, outcast, isolated, and will accordingly type themselves as intuitives. This isn't because they feel like a special genius unicorn, but rather because they feel lost and confused in a world which doesn't resemble what they were taught. The world changes quickly enough now where everyone's adulthood happens in a very different context to that of childhood. For intuitives, this might not matter so much, but for sensors, it can be very difficult to come to terms with the fact that your prior experiences aren't really relevant anymore. Childhood lessons mean little. This wasn't true for the vast majority of human history, where the narratives of your life would not vary much from the narratives of your parents' life, so the models you internalized as a child were usually relevant models for your adult life. On top of this, the education system is outrageously stupid and outdated, which destroys intuitives of children and sets up sensors to fail unless they already have money or connections. Incorrectly typing oneself as an INFJ, for example, or whatever, is more of a cope than an attempted flex for most people. People grok from type descriptions that intuitives have it rough while sensors are well designed for the world. If someone is struggling, I'm an INFJ is a helpful, somewhat affirming explanation. But if they're told that they're a sensor, well, what does that say about them? They must really be screwed up if they're the successful type and still struggle. The key, of course, is not to put too much worth in type descriptions, the most accurate where the sensing types are not mirrors of the most accurate descriptions of intuitives. As the most accurate descriptions for the sensing types are not mirrors of the most accurate descriptions for intuitives. You have to zoom out to get more good descriptions of sensing types as they are generally more heavily influenced by in environmental factors. I mean, I think that's right on the money, really. I think that's a bit, as good an explanation as any you're going to find is that at least if you're alienated, feeling like a failure or an outcast, believe me, welcome to the crowd, right? Um, at least if you are an intuitor, you can say, well, it's because I'm, I'm too smart and, and abstract and meaning-oriented for this concrete world of ours. Oh, kiss me the vapors. So, yeah, I mean, that does make good sense. So, Oliver Linehan, Linehan I didn't intentionally not see your comment until six months after you you made it but i've got this little issue with youtube where they won't make com they won't let comments go away unless you love them or comment on them i just want to ignore them or dislike them and go away but they won't they keep showing up and might not respond to twos. so i'm working my way backwards now through that shit. okay here you go that's the end bye